Fuzzy Wuzzy went to the potty. Fuzzy Wuzzy, get some out of here. Hey, what's up? It's another JK Toy Time today. And uh, here again, it's Jonathan Kladovich, your host. Uh, it's not really a host. But um, today we're going to be doing the old school snow speeder that they had back in the day when my dad was a kid. This, I think this was, no, this wasn't his when he was a kid. His is, pieces are busted off. And this, it's not very assemble. Assemb you don't have to assemble much of it. It's just that. Yeah, okay, so, um, so, yeah, here's the land, here's, no, land speeder, snow speeder. It's the one that Luke flew in Empire Strikes Back off. Here's the tow cable. It came with a missile, but I don't know where it is, where the missile is. I don't think my dad knows either, but, um, yeah, it's like the Millennium Falcon. It doesn't have as much, like, everything as the Millennium Falcon does. It doesn't come with much stickers. It doesn't have, like, um, it doesn't have buttons or anything, except the only button it has is up here to tow cable so yeah and it doesn't have any stickers usually money on many of falcon stickers messing up everything today Ooh. oh that's awesome that's cool one of the money falcon stickers i'll show you in a minute but it's got like the toolbox that they use to fix up the falcon that's pretty cool and they've got some controls and buttons for the cockpit and some wiring because the million falcon because kind of got some pieces messed up the ports were destroying it in um, Last Jedi. So, yeah. Okay, let's get this video started. On the bottom, it's got a kickstand. So, you can put it up. Are those wheels or what is that? Hey, that's pretty. That's awesome. This opens up and you can stick something in there. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. And um, so, here's the kickstand. Go up and down. And um, right here. When I was a kid, these things, like, when they turn, they open up really far. And they open up, and they, like, go up as they fly. I think it's to catch air or something. I don't know. But I study a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Anyway. So, again, here is the back. Um, Here's the tow cable. Here's the cockpit where you open it up. And there's some two seats inside where somebody can go in the back to control the tow cables. Oh, it does have stuff. There's a couple stickers in there. Maybe like one. <laughs> no, two, three. Who knows? I don't care. It's so cool. It's got two seats inside. It's got the cockpit opens up now. It's got these things. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's got the blasters on the front. So yeah, this is really cool. I love it. I know I don't explain much about my sets, but it's because I'm getting used to it still, kind of. So, yep. Uh, if there's any Harry Potter fans, and if you want me to do Harry Potter crap, that like it. That like it. That's a terrible Jeffy impression. That like it. Eh, well, Jeffy says that, so. And it's a YouTube. Jeffy, like, Jeffy goes to work, or Jeffy breaks his leg. I don't have to. Or, um, hey guys, what? No. Like that. Or, it's, there's some Jeffy impressions, but my friend Oscar does. Stuff. He says Jeffy stuff, but yeah. So yeah, our teacher kept calling us by our last names today. It was stupid. I hated it. And there's actually no missiles on this, except for the tow cable. There's no other buttons or anything, except when you want to press the button on the top for the tow cable. That's about it. It didn't come with any figures that I know so far. I had a DAC one. I had a DAC for the back of it. And I have a Luke Skywalker still. Guess what I did? So, you know when Luke crashed his X-Wing into the Dagobah swamps? Like, the like how the, he smashed it in the swamp in R2-D2. Like, stuck that little thing up. And it was kind of like a submarine or a scuba thing. And it, like, he um was, like, looking around from the top of his head. And he got shot out by that monster, that sea monster in the empire strikes back movie well same thing and um what i did is so you know when luke f jumped in the water to go to land when he was looking for yoda and his um like pilot suit got all dirty like it was filthy i took a sharpie marker and drew all over it when i was like four it was kind of stupid but actually it looks really cool like when his suit got all filthy in the movie it was seriously like somebody made it and i bought it from the store like, somebody bought that from the store with drawn all over it. It seriously looked like that. And when it had, like, stuff on his cheek, how it kind of had, like, some sea moss a little bit on his cheek. That actually, I actually put some on there, too. And I was drawing and scribbling on it. I actually got some up here. 
and it seriously looks like the movie. I am not crapping with you. I'll show you in a minute, but I gotta go in a crate. Because I have like a Star Wars crate full of all my Star Wars toys. And it's pretty cool. And my Star Wars Force Link, Force Link um, action figures for it. So, yeah. My dad gave me this with the Falcon. He didn't give me this for any reason. Or the Falcon. Well, my sister got a pretty big American girl doll stupid thing. But I'm not that stupid. I've got an American boy doll. I don't really use it that much, though. So he's got a Batman suit and some Star Wars stuff. Obviously, he's a little Star Wars. And did I already say if you want me to do Harry Potter stuff, I don't like it? If I did, yeah, seriously. But if you still like Star Wars and Harry Potter, it's all right. But if I wanted to be anybody in Harry Potter, I don't know who I'd want to be. Definitely wouldn't want to be Ron Weasley. Definitely wouldn't want to be. I would, I would want to be Hedwig the Owl. How do I know that? Oh, uh, yeah, my teacher likes Harry Potter. And the group, we have reading groups. And our, seriously, our name is Hedwig for our reading group. Anyway, that was about school and stuff. Yep, so here's the ramp, uh, thing. It's awesome. I love it. I play with it all the time. Like, I play with all my stuff. Um, and no, I didn't. I know I don't do very much unboxings. I did a Lego unboxing. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go very well. It was too long. The video was way too long. It was like 12 minutes or something because it kind of takes me some time. It takes me some time to, to build Legos. But I, I'd rather. If I were to unbox anything, it'd be it'd have to be an action figure or a ship or something. Because other people's videos, they're kind of long. But when I have when I do videos, I sometimes sometimes they're eleven minutes or twelve minutes, and they say that's too long. Twelve minutes seems like twelve and eleven minutes. That seems like a pretty good amount of time for a video, especially. But if you're like doing, I usually either do my ten minutes one time, it was two minutes or a minute. Because I went really fast. I think it was like my first one. Sorry. My leg hurts. So I'm standing on it to make it like put pressure on it to stop, to make it stop hurting. It's kind of making me shiver. My bad, Ben. Um, because I hate it today. Anyway, so yeah. I know I'm looking at Star Wars stickers. But on my birthday, um, I'm going to do my friends, Luke. Me, Luke, and my friend Croy, we're going to go to... Luke was in some of my videos. We're going to go to Airborne. We were going to go to Labyrinth, but actually we found out that Labyrinth is like a thing where college people go there and you have to... Like, you're locked in a room and there's mysteries and you have to solve stuff and, like, do math and all this reading stuff and riddles. And you're stuck there till you can figure out how to get out. You're stuck. Like, seriously... You you can't come out. You're 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 stuck there until you can figure out how to get out. But if you have, to, if you're hungry, yeah, you can't get out. If you're starving to death, like if you're hungry if, and if it feels like you haven't eaten, like for a week, and you're stuck there, they're they're gonna lock you in that room and pretend like you like an angry janitor takes his mop. It's like a living mop. So locks it in a room and keeps it in there and like walks away but there's like i think there's like cameras in the room watching you or something i don't know what you're doing but like you have to figure out like there's tunnels and like twists and turns there's like mazes you have to go through i don't think i want to put my friends in there and i don't really want to go in there because if there's math if there's like math involved and if it's like algebra yeah i'm dead but i don't know i don't really know how it works but if you're stuck there there's somebody can come in there and help you out i think i think so don't go like, okay, thank goodness. Or if that's not true, don't go, ooh, yeah, they're mean. So, it's got an airborne, it's got an airborne trampoline park in there. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, anyway, bye guys, see you later, bye. Please, you subscribers, if you want me to do a lot of more stuff, and please, I want some subscribers and views, please, seriously, I, I honestly, I'd prefer it. We do that, please. Thank you. Bye, guys. Um, so, if you want to keep watching my channel, subscribe and tell your friends about it too. And subscribe. Maybe they don't like it, but tell them to subscribe to it and view it, some of the stuff. And just if they don't like it, just watch it and do something else. Like if they've got to do chores, just play it. They're doing chores. Not to get views and stuff, just to, you know. Because if you want to keep watching my stuff, I need lots of views, or else if I've only got, I've only got four subscribers and it's. That's not enough to keep me on, so I gotta make more videos, I've gotta get more views and stuff. 
Right, bye guys, see ya, this is the time. Bye.